Back with a live look from RDU Airport. Many of us right now making our holiday travel plans. This is just around the corner. Experts are telling us to book those as soon as possible. Michael Perchik joining us now from RDU. And Michael, it's been a summer, as we all have seen and heard, full of headaches at many airports across the country. So hopefully that's not the case as we look towards hmm. the holidays. Yeah, data from FlightAware found that RDU actually had the fourth highest percent of cancellations between Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day. Some good news, though. Last weekend was fairly smooth sailing across the country. There is hope that will continue through the holiday season. Pent up demand leading to a spike in air travel. I would say book as early as possible. Um, I would say start booking next summer as soon as possible. You can still book now, but the availability is probably not as good. American Airlines has cut 31,000 November flights and 14,000 December flights. United looking to hire hundreds of new staffers ahead of the holidays, both doing so with the goal of avoiding the delays and cancellations which impacted travelers this summer. I'm hoping that later this fall, it should should start to be alleviated. The airlines are making efforts to make that happen now. We are on a weekly basis receiving confirmations and information from the airlines that they are actually changing schedules. RDU saw pandemic record passenger totals from April through July of this year. In 2021, there were 246,000 travelers through RDU Thanksgiving week and 943,000 travelers in December. If you plan on traveling during the holidays, it's going to cost you. Generally, Christmas is very, very expensive. It's considered festive season. Um, the rates are probably double or triple what you would normally pay off season. Um, if you wanted to get better deals, you should go before the 15th, 16th of December. You can also try to wait until right after the new year, where prices drop considerably in January. And if you are in the midst of scheduling, part of your trip may already be paid for. Some airlines, including United and Delta, have extended the expiration of flight credits into next year, though it's important you double check the fine print on your account. From RDU, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.